hello my youtube friends it's been i'd say a while uh, since my uh, last video and it kind of missed me uh, i didn't do any video because i'm due to go to the states uh it's today thursday yeah i would say thursday today uh, and on saturday i will travel to the states where i will come back with a lot and when i say a lot i mean a lot of knives that will most definitely uh, make a, a, a video of their own uh, you know I, I, i've been crazy this time i've been uh, i bought something like 15 knives i don't know uh, so now i'm broke as a joke uh, so <laughs> that's why i'm buying you know uh, you know um, not lesser high-end quality uh, knives uh, but this one I wanted to make a video before uh, getting back with the big uh, the big guys and uh, the custom knives and everything. Uh, I wanted to make this video because for those of you who follow my video, you know you know me by now. I can be excited with a twenty dollars knife, which this one is, uh, the same way as I'm exciting uh, with a thousand dollars knives. So this one excites me <laughs> pretty much. I have to say, uh, this is. Uh, really really nice knife coming from Ontario knives uh, this is a first production they say it's called the utility tech uh, it's a Joe Pardue design okay a US 8 look at the craziness that's what you know I um, saw a video from uh, my friend Rob the Apostle P uh, congratulations, my friend, for the 2,500 uh, subscribers. Uh, that's a lot of guys to follow you, my friend. And you deserve uh, even more. So, uh, I've seen his video about this knife. Uh, and in instantly, uh, <laughs> I wanted to buy this knife. Because how crazy can that be? Look at this grind. This beautiful satin finish grind. Oh, I have my daughter's toys here. Uh, you know that can complete also uh, you know, i don't know if it fits uh, girl's toy knife i don't know they fit together why not a uh, dog she's not mine i don't have dogs here okay uh, i'm missing a point here so here we are for a very very yeah, i would say it's a kind of complex grind look at those lines and the tip is very very strong aus8 uh, you gotta love the AUS8. I love this uh, this blade steel. Very very easy to 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 to, to sharpen. Uh, this knife is made in Taiwan, which is a uh, I mean a, a quality place to 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 make uh, knives. Handles are you know nicely grippy. It's Zytel. Uh, they're grippy. Very nice. Uh, I mean um, feeling in hands. Uh, to tell you the truth, the, the, the feeling hand of this knife is just excellent, excellent. And it is a tactical knife by every means. Look at this jimping here on the handle, both handle and the blade with the nice ramp here. Here you have also some jimping on the, on the liner lock. The, uh, added to the grip of the handle, the feel of it in hand is just superb, superb. And you can beat the shit out of this knife, my friends, because for $25, I think on Blade HQ, I've seen them for uh, $25, and I, I think I paid $20 uh, on eBay uh, with, I, I would say, less than $10 uh, shipping to, to, to France. I mean, if this is not a, a bargain, I mean, what is? What is? Uh, everything is, I mean, for that price point, excellent. And you know what? Uh, it, to me, it's uh, the closest thing to to a flawless knife because when you take a look at, at it, uh, I mean, it has no flow. Look at the back spacer, perfectly finished, you know, with the, the liners. You don't feel the, the frontier between the liners, the back spacer and the Zytel. Uh, I don't know if it's Zytel also or G10, I don't know. I don't care. Uh, so that's a liner lock. Look at the engagement of the liner. That's perfection. Look at that. Right where it needs to be. Now, look at the blade centering. It's off-centered on the right. Just, yeah, off-centered. That's the only flow. But 
there is, I mean, it doesn't touch the handle, not by a long shot. And the action is, look at that. I mean, that's buttery smooth. And here the noise of the blade, I mean, opens with authority. Look at that, look at that. I mean, that, that's just awesome. Really believe me, my friends, this action is just, just stunning, stunning, stunning. I mean, you, you can't be wrong with this knife. Just buy it, uh, uh, have it on yourself and beat the shit out of it. Open your boxes, your letters, whatever. That's a user, my friend. That's a tool, that's a user. And that's also a knife that is very fun to play with because the action is very smooth. Try to hear something here when I disengage the blade. Nothing. Nothing. Hear that? Yeah, my friend. Oh, that's a great, great value. Great value, my friends. Uh, I absolutely highly recommend it. Uh, it comes crazy, crazy sharp out of the box. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a flat or a hollow. To tell you the truth, I didn't even uh, uh, bother to, 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 to check. I would say it's a flat from the reflection of the light here. I would say it's a flat. Yeah, most definitely a flat probably, okay? Uh, so, dual thumb stud. I mean, you have the holes everywhere, which I hate usually, but uh, on the Zytel, it goes with the line, you, you, you don't see them. And for the lefties are the, my friend Robbie's. Uh, it's perfect because it goes for a tip up, tip down, lefty, righty. You see, I didn't even bother changing it to a uh, tip up carry. Because actually, I'd like it better when it's tip down carry for a thumb stud. Oh, that must be, I don't know, 100 times uh, that I say that. But when you take the knife out of the pocket, I mean, it's just for a thumb stud, just ready for the action. Take it out of the box, of the pocket, ready for the action. Put it tip up like that for righty, tip up. When you take it out of the pocket, you have to turn and then to open the blade, which is not the same for a flipper because when it's tip up for a flipper, when you take it out, you just flip it like that open. So tip up for me, for flipper, <laughs> I'm rambling, I've said that a hundred times, a tip up for flippers, tip down for thumb stud. I mean, that's my way of saying, I mean, <laughs> anyone, you do whatever you need, uh, we will stay friends after that for sure. So uh, Shannon Sheila, my friend, buy this knife for $20, you can be wrong. Uh, Patrick, hey, buddy, you're like me. Buy this knife. Todd Sticker, most definitely you will buy this knife. I'm sure, Rick, you will love it. Uh, the Apostle P, you already got it. And all my other friends, Nick Brock Attack also, Epil Snug, I mean, everyone uh, that I have the pleasure uh, to discuss with uh, on video because uh, this is my pleasure. I mean, I would have this pleasure with only a couple of guys like that. And uh, you are um, more my friends now. So I'm kind of happy and that's why I'm continuing doing those videos, those videos, sorry. Uh, and uh, Oh Knife Addict, my new friend, uh, thank you for uh, the knife I bought you. Uh, I, will, I will bring by, bring them back from the States and make definitely a video out of, uh, out of them. Uh, okay, so my friends, thank you for uh, following my vids and uh, for sharing with me. I highly appreciate that. And when I come back from the States, you'll be ready for a ton of videos. You have a great one. Bye-bye.